Hello, everyone. Today, our title is "How Can We Vanquish the Hidden Devil at Corners of Cyber Society?" There are four members from each university in Taiwan: Kyotsang University and Kansai University in Japan. And this is our agenda. And let's take a look at our video. Hey, can you turn on the video, Hikaru? Ah,、uh, okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Why don't we stop this meeting? Oh,、um, I see. I see. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize to stop meeting suddenly. No problem. Let's talk someday again. It's okay. They were chatting like they are good friends, but this is the beginning of the bullying. Shiori posted a recording of video on SNS. Some mean comments are arrived for the post. Hey Kenny, have you heard this news already? Not yet. What happened?、Uh, because of cyberbullying,、uh, these girls' appearance is now wearing self-shaped committed suicide herself. Really? Are you serious? Yes. Hey, how come? It happened in Japan, a lost country. Yes, it's hard to believe. Hi. Hi. So you already seen this news? Yes, it's a big news.、Mm. Do you know the girl already committed suicide? Really? Oh my gosh. Social media is really powerful. Yeah, that's so sad. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is bullying with the use of digital technologies. It can take place on social media and messaging platforms. Cyberbullying happens repeatedly. The attackers want to threaten or embarrass those who are targeted. Examples include spreading lies about or posting embarrassing photos of the target. Person on social media, sending harmful or threatening messages via messaging platforms, impersonating someone, and sending mean messages to others on their behalf. Face-to-face -face bullying and cyberbullying can often happen alongside each other. However, unlike the former, cyberbullying leaves a digital footprint, a record which may help to prevent the next bullying. Let's have a look at our survey. We conducted a survey for 204 university students in Taiwan and Japan to answer three research questions. The first research question is: Has bullying become common in high school? What we learn from the survey is that even though the majority of people answered that they have never been bullied, about half of them said that they have seen bullying, and about forty percent said that bullying has become common. Second research question is: Do you know any professional organization for cyberbullying? Most people knew about it. But about forty percent thought it is unhelpful. Third research question is: What kind of effect does the cyber bring help? Numerous respondents answer: lose confidence in oneself, become emotionally unstable, and can't trust anyone. And to the question: How to so bring? As many as fifteen percent of respondents answer they don't know. Trina and Mary will lead you to find out the insight for our next part. First, we are going to discuss whether cyberbullying is common in high school. The analysis shows extreme results to us. In the first place, we think that the left colon is related to the person's experiences. Many people were embarrassed about the problem that they have already faced, but in the right colon, they are more likely to talk about others' experiences that made them answer the question honestly. Oh, I see. That's why it causes different results. Hey, do you know any counseling system to help the victim? Yes. In Taiwan, most people know we have counseling system, but 57% of people think it's not helpful. What makes it not helpful? 
Accordingly, we found that the consulting system in Taiwan haven't been working well for most people. Besides, looking at its influence, we found various reasons. For example, people who were bullied by others started to lose confidence, so they are afraid of trusting others, the lack of faith on others. We have designed a package of solution with the abbreviation of initial alphabet. Intel, T means take steps. When we face a perpetrator, we need to be strong and fight against him. So, Katrina, how can we fight back when we face those problems? The questionnaire shows that we can talk directly to the perpetrator, whether we like this or not. Or, if we are strong enough, we can ignore the negative words in the situation. And how can we strengthen ourselves? For instance, when we face the victims, we need to help them become stronger mentally and help them to be more confident about themselves. We also can tell them to prevent any harm from SNS so that they would not be hurt easily. Besides, we need to take care of them and put ourselves into their shoes. Intel E means education. In our point A, we have to instruct students when they are young about how to use internet properly. For point B, it is suggested to use less internet and do not follow message blindly. Intel, the first L means look for the assistance if the perpetrator is too aggressive. We need to call the police, report to the teacher or parents, and ask for the professional counseling help. The second L means law. By legal means, we can make the legal improvement to give punishment with different fines. The legislative constraints can be made to stop cyberbullying and to improve the social network services. Let's move to the conclusion. As the cases of cyberbullying have rapidly increased, we have made a questionnaire in which a total of 204 university students in Taiwan and Japan participated. The questionnaire has shown that 40% of people believe that cyberbullying is common in high school, and nearly 60% think that professional counseling service cannot help much. Besides, 15% don't know how to deal with cyberbullying, so we looked into the reasons and provided solutions. The solution is our tail, T-E-L-L. Colors rolling out, tell the world loud. Thanks for your listening.